Today we're gonna to figure out the proper pronunciation for the Greek pita. Is it a euro? Is it, is it a gyro? Is it a year, year, euro? Well, we are in Irvine, California at Apollo, a Greek restaurant brought to you by Chi Brothers. And we're gonna figure it out because I'm pretty sure it's a euro, but it, it could be a gyro. I mean, but it, is it a year, euro? Year, I don't know. Hey guys, Rob. Hey. Hey, Bob, bro. how are you? What's Johnny. I'm yeah? Stefano. Nice to meet you. Nice to okay, meet you. so we are having a debate. How do you properly pronounce the Greek pita? Funny you should ask, we have a cheat sheet right there. How to say G-Y-R-O. Gyro. There you go. There you go, you got it. Okay, well, you know, now that that's done, I'm here at Apollo because everybody is coming here to try your gyros. Mm -hmm. there's, something, there's something a little special about it that's making it a little different than all the other spots out there, and, and what is that? It is authenticity. We try to stay true to our roots. A true Greek gyro is exactly what you'd get over here. Unfortunately, LA hasn't been experiencing a true Greek gyro up until now. True Greek gyro is the pork gyro. Uh, you take a pita, you put tzatziki sauce on it, you put the thinly sliced meat from the spit, and then you put Roma tomatoes, a little bit of onion, and some fresh French fries. French fries? Yeah. Yeah, see, I've, I've never had French fries on my gyro. You haven't been to Greece. I have not been to so Greece. So you haven't seen the fries on the gyro. I have not. Because <laughs> I'm noticing around, I see wine, you know, and, and that's 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 different than most, you know, establishments like this. Trying to import flavors in from Greece. It's just what you'd get in Greece, but it's cheaper than a plain ticket. So a pola, a, a, a pola actually means a little so bit works, of everything. Yeah, exactly. But you know what I think it's time for? I think it's time to have a little bit of a Good. pola. You know, sometimes there just aren't words. You just have to have like a moment. Now I know why this place is called Apollo because it literally is everything and you guys need to get one of these.